Hey, it's Minute Book Reports, and I just finished reading After Alice, which is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So if you just want to know about After Alice, you can just watch the video before this one or Alice's Adventures in uh, Wonderland, you can just watch the video before that and you can just get the quick summary. But as I was reading After Alice, it made me sort of think about reimaginings or retellings of classics and I don't I'm not here to say what's right or wrong, but these are just ideas or discussions that I was having in my mind as I was reading that book. And so I thought I'd just share some of those thoughts. So the first thing I thought about was, is it even okay for an author to use another author's plot or characters or setting or storyline for themselves? I'm not really sure where I fall on the fence on that. I mean, on the one hand, it kind of looks like it's unoriginal and maybe even lazy. You know, you're just borrowing something from someone else and they pretty much made everything for you and you just move things around and that's it. As an author, wouldn't you want as much freedom as possible to be able to move around and, and have new characters and they could do whatever they wanted because there's no restriction, right? There's no, there's no, there's no storyline. It's not based on anything. But then maybe it takes more creativity to have to work within sort of the boundaries of an already established story where, you know, there's certain characters, people think a, a certain way about certain characters. And so maybe what you bring to the table now is sort of a rethinking or, or, or maybe just looking at it in a new perspective. And, and maybe the character is the same, but if you highlight them differently or you tell about their character in a different way, like maybe a backstory or maybe an experience that caused them to be like that way or to be that way in the main story, then maybe that's that's a good thing. You know, maybe that challenge of working within, again, that boundary uh, is, is hard and, and, and difficult and, and maybe that shows real, you know, writing talent. Another thing I was thinking about was what about if readers aren't familiar with the original content, how could they enjoy the retelling? A retelling requires that the reader knows pretty much the story, the original story, and is that fair? It's, it's kind of like a sequel to a movie. Like, I guess if you're gonna watch the sequel, you kind of have to watch the original. It's, it's kind of difficult, and I'm not sure that retellings necessarily work in that way. Like, is that even fair for authors to expect? and assume and and challenge their readers to oh you have to go read the original first before you can come and appreciate what i'm writing but again as the author of a retelling i think what in terms of from what i've read they, they sort of have this challenge of presenting multiple sort of layers of appreciation within the story so i think that these layers maybe offer sort of like a padding for different levels of readers who are familiar with the story from like non-existent to like they really know what the story is about. So, so maybe the author might leave like very general things. So if you're just barely familiar with that story, like if you just barely know Alice in Wonderland, maybe you, you'll get enough general clues that you just be like, oh yeah, I remember something like that in the original. I don't know names or places that well, but at least I kind of know what that's from. And then I think maybe there's different levels. And then of course there's like scholar, right? Like there's like the part where you're like, yeah, you you know that that story really well. Uh, you probably wrote a paper or did some kind of master's project or thesis on it. But I think there's on that level, there's a level of appreciation where the the retelling author probably took a lot of time and and research. I think where the retelling author did a lot of research and and you know really pay attention to a lot of the details. And so people who understand the original story on that high level and, and are very very familiar with it. I think they'll be able to appreciate it. it you know, uh, sort of where they're at. And so sort of the last thing is about the ending of the story because a lot of these retellings are usually going along with the, either the main storyline or maybe they're a, like a prequel to the main original story. So the reader would probably know what's gonna happen in the overall story. And if the reader knows the ending, is that okay? And I know in reading as a hobby, we often tend to like, reread books so it's okay because we already know what's going to happen but it's sort of one of those we just kind of want to enjoy the experience and we want to kind of go along with the characters and then that's really where the enjoyment of reading sort of comes from but i know that not everyone is like that and sometimes they just want to have like spoiler free experiences and so if you're telling a retelling of a story where you know the ending is that okay for people who they just want to be surprised and and while it may be interesting along the way to get to that end point, if they know what the end point is, are they going to feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, read that book because, oh yeah, I knew that was going to happen. There definitely is something cool or interesting or I guess people can find pleasure in the fact that we know where the original story is 
And then here's where they start. And it's just a matter of sort of connecting that to there and, and all these cool little interesting points. It just gives us sort of, you know, maybe, I don't, I don't know, just like little like pleasure sparks or something in our mind where we, where we think, oh yeah, that, I, I see how that all connects. But again, I'm, I'm not really sure if everyone thinks that way. So when it comes to retellings, I'm not here to say that they're okay or not or or whatever. I, I'm just here to maybe just bring up some of these thoughts that I had and maybe some questions. Again, maybe no one thinks about this kind of stuff. But as I was reading this retelling, that's what I thought about was all these types of things and 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 how do I feel about them and maybe, I don't know, maybe other people might have certain feelings about them too. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.